It is indeed that time for high school tournament basketball on Magic 95.9. Now, we thought that we were going to get things started last night, but obviously the weather had some different ideas. But we are on track to get things rolling tonight. And the district that we're focusing on is understandably generating lots of attention. Well, the Shelby District in Division Three is stacked, and five in ten teams find themselves in this loaded draw. Cyrus, Carey, Colonel Crawford, Upper Sandusky, and Winford. Based on resume and record, the league team with the best chance to navigate through is the number four seed, Carey. But the Blue Devils will be looking up at number three seed, Margareta, led by senior scoring dynamo, Eliana Schaefer. Number two seed, Hopewell Loudon, whose senior star, Michaela Elmore, has returned from major injury. And number one seed, Willow. A well-rounded squad featuring the Flash's most experienced player, senior McKenna Stevens. Based on the draw, the team that could get the first crack at the Crimson Flashes is Upper Sandusky, a team that has been battling injuries all season long. At one point, four starters were out at the same time. In Caden Siles, Valoria Stowers, Jenna Kurtz, and Madison Byram. Brooke Swavel also missed some time. All have returned to the lineup to rejoin starting point guard Grace Venn. But before reaching Willard, the Rams must first get through Huron in a tournament rematch with the Tigers, who most assuredly will want some revenge. Uh, they're a very much improved team, to be honest. Uh, probably a little bit like us, their record isn't quite what they um, the level of basketball that they play at. Um, but looking forward to that opportunity. Again, I go back to the idea of uh, trying to build a championship-minded team with this group. Um, and that's what the, that's what a tournament win is. Like you, you need to go out and take care of business in that game on your home floor, you know, against a team that is, you know, a similar matchup. We need to take care of business and, you know, head to Willard and, and see what we can do there. We have been working really, really hard during practice because we really want to be on top this year. It comes down to belief, and we just got to believe and have our heart and work harder in practice than we have before because our team has talent and so does theirs, and I know this is going to be a good game. Well, yes, it is one day delayed, but Huron will visit Upper Sandusky tonight, and we will have that sectional final for you live on Magic 95.9 starting at 7 p.m.